dead. Welcome everyone to Friday Night Smackdown! And ladies and gentlemen, it's Fight Night! There is the Celtic Warrior, flanked by Butch and Rich Holland. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by the Celtic Warrior Sheamus at a combined weight of 458 pounds. Butch and Ridge Holland of Brawling Brutes. Brawling Brutes set for tag team action here tonight at the Blue Brand. What a way to get things started. And last week here on Friday Night Smackdown, Imperium were able to move on to Starcade to compete for the vacant Smackdown Tag Team titles when they defeated Los Lotharios. Tonight we find out who Imperium will do battle with in two weeks at Starcade. And their opponents. At a combined weight of 532 pounds, Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. The Alpha Academy making their way to the ring. Chad Gable and Otis looking to take advantage of a tremendous opportunity here tonight on SmackDown. Chad Gable giving Otis advice before the bell, making sure he is ready. Alpha Academy getting set to face the brawling brutes for the opportunity of going to Starcade to compete for the vacant SmackDown Tag Team titles. This is our opening matchup here tonight on the blue brand, and what a match! It is gonna be. And it seems that Butch will start things off with Gable. And we are underway. Collar and elbow tie up to begin proceedings. Side headlock takeover by Gable. These two great technical wrestlers going at it right here to begin this, to begin this matchup. Shot there to the midsection of Gable and now Butch Taking control, massive forearms. And now utilizing the top rope to his advantage is Butch. And now Butch has Gable all tied up and he's biting the arm there. For as good as a wrestler that Butch is, he is a madman inside that ring. 
He just wants to inflict as much punishment as he can on his opponents. And now Gable taken down to the canvas. Knuckle right to the back of the head. And there's a stop right to the back. Butch in full control right now. But Gable, as I say that, delivers that wicked open palm strike. And now Butch isolated in the corner of the academy. Tag made. In comes the powerhouse Otis. And Alpha Academy now rolling through. Nice double team there by Otis and Gable. And now the powerhouse looking to go to work. Belly to belly suplex. Takes down Butch into the cover now. Goes Otis. And he gets a one count. And now Butch trying to fire back. Big rolling elbow. Otis though remains standing. Oh, what a headbutt. The skulls collide. And now Butch sent into the corner. Otis went for something. Butch got out of the way. And now there's a shot right to the gut. And look at this. Fish hook right to the nose. And again the stomp by Butch. Rolling Brutes now back in control. Four on right to the skull of Otis. Otis though right back up to his feet. And now Butch sends him to the outside. Otis held on. And there's a shot right to the face. Uh-oh. Otis now fired up. And Butch plotted into the canvas. Here's the coming out by Otis and Rich Holland makes the save. And there goes Chad Gable, set to the outside. And Otis not going to take too kindly to that. Oh, what a clubbing blow there to the back. And now Butch looking to capitalize. Close line, but again, Otis remains standing. Into Gurry. And again, Otis, still on his feet. Oh, what a kick in the corner. And finally, Otis falls. Butch. From the top rope, Moonsault, there's Holland and Gable go at it on the outside, here's the cover and Otis stays in it. And now Otis being picked back up to a vertical base, Butch went for the forearm, Otis countered. And now Butch all packaged up for the suplex. Alpha Academy now in control. Chad Gable back up on the apron. And Otis sending Butch into the corner tag made back to Chad Gable. And now Alpha Academy with some more double team action. As the former Olympian goes right off to the arm of Butch. Into the cover now. Alpha Academy to go to Starcade. No. Butch stays alive. And Gable now with a full arm. There's another one. Butch being driven into the turnbuckle. Butch though fires back with a shot right to the face. And now Butch looking for the submission. Single leg crab center of the ring. Butch trying to outdo the submission specialist, but Otis makes the save. And now Rich Holland gets rid of Otis. Boot to the midsection there of Gable. And now Butch thinking about the bitter end. Trying to put this match up away, Gable had it scouted. And now Gable, hooking the arms. Followed by Suplex, Butch lands on his feet. Inside Cradle now, shoulders down here on Gable. Holland and Otis going at it on the outside, and Gable manages to kick it too. And now Butch in trouble, Butch in a pinning predicament. Otis though distracting the referee. Miscommunication from the academy, and Butch stays in it. Oh, Insigori takes down Chad Gable. And now Butch looking for that deadlift Sherman. Gable though, going off the ankle. Chad Gable with the ankle lock. And in comes Rich Holland to break things up. Holland now sent to the outside. Chad Gable 
telling the WWE Universe to shoot. And Butch taking advantage. Shoulders down again here on Gable for a two count. This one is coming down to the wire. Any one of these teams could be going to Starcade. German suplex by Butch. Oh, baseball drop hit to follow. And can I just mention that Butch is carrying this matchup for the Brawling Brutes. Oh! What a will kick there by Gable and McCullough. Shoulders down on Butch and Holland. Saving the matchup. And Gable by like Suplex takes care of Rich Holland. And Butch able to capitalize. Big shots now from Butch. Chad Gable up against the ropes. And there he goes to the outside. And now Butch with a crazed look in his eye. Through the ropes turned by Super Cena. Wiping out Gable. Ruling Brutes in control as Friday Night Smackdown rolls on. We are back here on Friday Night Smackdown. Tag team action on the way as the Brawling Brutes battle the Alpha Academy. The winning team will face Imperium at Starcade for making the Smackdown Tag Team titles. And right now, all four men going at it inside the ring. There goes Rich Holland, though. Otis in pursuit. Butch with a stomp wet to the lower back. And now Gable being lined up. Butch, kick to the midsection, looking for the X-Plex. Gable though, able to roll through. Could the Academy be going to Starcade? No, Butch turns things around. And Otis comes in at the last second to make the save. Oh, and Otis just got wiped out. And now what the hell is Butch thinking? Butch from the top, moves up to the outside. And Gable takes advantage. Chad Gable just wiped out Butch with a forearm. Can Chad Gable follow up? Massive opportunity here on the line. As Chad Gable, oh, catches two boots right to the face. Otis, again, knocked off of the ring apron. And this could be the moment for the Brawling Brutes. Otis is down. Tag. In comes Rich Holland. And now the Brawling Brutes looking for the double team. Oh, great tandem offense. Cover. Otis just got wiped down and the Brutes are heading to Starcade. Here are your winners, Bush and Ridge Holland. The Brawling Brutes are going to Starcade to compete for the vacant SmackDown Tag Team titles against Imperium. We are back here on Friday Night Smackdown with the general manager, John Bradshaw Layfield. JBL has another announcement for us here tonight. And word on the street is that he is about to announce the competitors in the second Fatal 4-Way Elimination match to determine who will face Seth freaking Rollins at Starcade for the vacant Universal Championship. Another massive opportunity being presented tonight by JBL. I cannot wait to see which competitors will be in the second Fatal 4-Way Elimination matchup. The first one took place last week here on the Blue Brand, and it was won by Seth freaking Rollins. Later on tonight, in the main event of the evening, we are going to find out who Seth freaking Rollins will face for the vacant Universal Championship. 
Let's hear from general manager, JBL. Welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. Tonight, I would like to announce a fatal four-way elimination match to determine who will face Seth freaking Rollins at Starcade for the vacant Universal Championship. The competitors in that match will be Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Damian Priest, and Karrion Cross, And that will be our main event here tonight. JBL making it official. Fatal four-way elimination matchup goes down later tonight. The competitors will be Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Karrion Cross, and Damian Priest, who will be going to Starcade to face Seth freaking Rollins for the vacant Universal Championship. We'll find out tonight. Up next though, Raquel Rodriguez is in action. She goes one-on-one -on -one with Zoya Lee next. The first matchup for the SmackDown exclusive premium live event, Starcade, is now official. The Brawling Brutes will do battle with Imperium to determine the inaugural SmackDown Tag Team Champions here in Universe Mode. It goes down in two weeks' time. We now turn our attention to the women's division here on SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel Rodriguez set for one-on-one -on -one action here tonight on the blue brand. She takes on Zoya Lee. This one is going to be all about Raquel's power versus Zoya Lee strikes. What an interesting matchup this one should be. Raquel Rodriguez in action live next here on SmackDown. And here comes the proficient striker, Zia Lee. Superstars are about to collide. Which one of them will be walking out with the victory? Strength versus striking prowess. Who's going to come out on top? Zaya Lee just so damn quick. Can Raquel Rodriguez combat the speed and quickness of Zia Lee? We are now underway. Women's division action here on the blue brand. Collar and elbow tie up to begin proceedings. And Rodriguez just shoving Zia. And Zia with a shot to the midsection. And already Zia Lee. Trying to utilize her striking ability, but what a boot there to the face by Rodriguez. And the power now of Raquel on display as she just launches Zaya Lee with that view. Now Zaya off the right side of the back elbow. And check this out. Wow. Zaya Lee. Lifted into the air with absolute ease. 
And Raquel doing the respectful thing of letting Zoya get back up to her feet. Oh, the Zoya. Again with the strikes. And once more, Raquel Rodriguez hoisting up Zoya Lee. Oh, my goodness. And a boot went there to the face. Zaya Lee now in some trouble. Raquel Rodriguez thinking about a fall away slam. But Zaya Lee turned it into a DDT. Great counter. More kicks by Zaya. And now Rodriguez gets sent into the corner for the European uppercut. Standing moonsault. Great combination offense. Will it be enough? No. Not by a long shot. Nobody home there for Zaya Lee. And now Raquel from behind. Side slam. Spine first into the canvas goes Zaya Lee. And it will lead to a two count. Went for the clothesline. There's another kick. Went to the midsection. And Raquel now sent over the top rope. Oh, but there's a shot right to the face. And a slap. Well, this one started out respectfully, but that is quickly disintegrating. Raquel Rodriguez all fired up here tonight on SmackDown. Who's going to walk out of this one as the victor? Welcome back everyone to Friday Night Smackdown Women's Division action underway right now as Zoya Lee takes on Raquel Rodriguez and during the break Zoya Lee was able to regain control. Armbar now looked in but look at Raquel fighting out of it. Separation made. Oh what a boot there to the face. And that could do it. Here's the cover by Rodriguez and Zoya kicks out at two. Zaya Lee displaying her resilience, but now look at Raquel Rodriguez lining up Zaya Lee. Went for the Tejana bomb, but Zaya again sticking to her strengths. Strikes all over Raquel Rodriguez. And now Zaya lining up Rodriguez, maybe looking to finish this. Rodriguez in trouble, and Zaya. Went to end it, Raquel in the duck underneath. And again, back to the arm, goes Rodriguez. And look at this, shoot bomb. Spine first into the mat once more. Here's the cover to put away Zaya Lee. No. Zaya able to raise the shoulder in time. There's a shot to the midsection. And Sawyer Lee battling back. But as is Raquel. Back elbow found its mark. And now Zaya sent into the corner. Raquel with a splash. Zaya Lee rolling to the outside. And Rodriguez in pursuit. Oh, but there's a kick right to the face. A veteran-like move there by Zoya Lee. Luring Raquel to the outside, but she delivered that kick right to the face. And now Zoya taking advantage. Spinning hill kick. Zoya Lee in control right now. Stop right to the chest. And Zaya Lee firing up. Rodriguez picked back up to a vertical base. And Zaya Lee, Mitchell Oka driver, pulls the leg away from the whites. Here's the cover. And Raquel stays in it. Oh, and right back to the arm. Raquel Rodriguez has been targeting the arm of Zoya Lee all throughout this matchup. And now Rodriguez unloading on Zoya, but Zoya fires back a shot of her own. Raquel looking for a power bomb. Hurricane run and reversal by Zoya Lee. Into the cover on Rodriguez and a kick out. Oh, wait a second. Raquel 
Oh no, Zoyle back and forth between these two women. What an exchange. And now Raquel Rodriguez lifting up Zoya Lee and transitioning into the Tejana bomb. Wow! Cover on Zoya Lee and it's over. Raquel Rodriguez secures the win. What a match. And wait a minute, Son did a bill with a kendo stick to the midsection and now the back. What the hell is the meaning of this? Tonight, I punch my ticket to Starcade for the Intercontinental Championship. I will bring honor, credibility, and prestige back to this great sport. I don't care who I face. I don't care who stands before me. All that matters is that the ring Genelal becomes Intercontinental Champion. Gunter in action next on SmackDown. Welcome back everyone to Friday Night Smackdown. And here comes Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 200. Sammy Zayn set to go one on one with the ring general Gunter. What a matchup this is going to be. And it is all about the Intercontinental Championship. The winner of this will advance to Starcade to compete for the vacant Intercontinental title. Here comes Imperium! And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, Weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunter! Gunter ready for action. And he said before the commercial break that it didn't matter who he stepped into the ring with tonight. What matters is Gunter becoming intercontinental champion. He has a mission. He wants to bring honor credibility and prestige back to this great sport because he believes that this great sport has lost all of that all of that credibility all of that prestige it's gone in the eyes of the ring general last week here on smackdown giovanni vinci and Ludwig kaiser advanced to Starcade. And they will do battle with the Brawling Brutes for the vacant SmackDown Tag Team titles in two weeks at WWE Starcade. Tonight, though, Gunter set for action. He takes on Sami Zayn. And you hear the Olay chants for Sami as the bell sounds. We are now underway, and Gunter with a wicked chop right to the chest of Sami Zayn. And now Zayn hoisted into the air. Zayn though lands on his feet. And now from behind, oh, what a back elbow. German suplex by Gunter. Zayn back up to his feet, catches another chop. And now Gunter applying a cravat on the top rope. Zane just got thrown across the ring with ease. And there's a knee wet to the spine. Gunter in complete control as this 
Matchup gets underway. Kick out at one by Sami. Sami Zayn, one of the most resilient superstars in WWE history, arguably. More chops now, raining down on the chest of Sami Zayn. And Zayn set up for another shot to the chest. My God. Splash to the midsection. And Gunter trying to put Zayn away. But Zayn able to stay in it. Kevin Owens watching on from ringside with a grimaced look on his face. Zayn though trying to fight back. Zayn now trying to take it to the ring general, but he gets tripped up. And Zayn wisely rolling to the outside. The referee holding back Gunter. And Gunter in firm control. Can Sunny get back into this? Welcome back everyone to Friday Night Smackdown. Gunter one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn right now and the winner will go on to Starcade in two weeks to compete for the vacant Intercontinental Championship. Zayn able to fight out of that predicament, but Gunter one step ahead of Sami. And again, the knee to the spine. Gunter has been in complete control throughout the commercial break. Sami Zayn with little offense thus far tonight. But could this be the turning point? Here comes Sami Zayn. WWE Universe behind him. Pop up drop kick. Gunter right back up to his feet. Sami Zayn was ready. Oh, and he went for the blue thunderbomb. Gunter though with a reversal. Now the ring general with a big right hand and again the chop right to the chest of Zayn. And Sammy gets hung up to dry. Into the cover goes Gunter to put this one away and Zayn again gets the shoulder up at two. Gunter just completely dismantling Sami Zayn here this evening. Sami has always been an underdog in his career, but I don't know if he can come back from this beating. He's going to give this everything he's got, though. That is the will of Sami Zayn. Gunter in the corner. Caught Zayn with a back elbow. And now Gunter into the rear naked choke. And Gunter trying to squeeze the life out of Sami Zayn. And this could be the end. Sami Zayn may not have much left. Oh, but wait a second, Sami. Pinning predicament here for Gunter. Shoulders down. And Gunter manages to pop the shoulder up in time. And again, Zayn with the drop kick. Sami Zayn now heading to the outside. Caught Gunter with a knee. And now he ascends the turnbuckle. Gunter trying to meet him up there. And Sammy again, trying to fend off the ring channel. Oh, no water in the pool. And there's a neck breaker. Gunter with the swinging neck breaker. And now, it may just be a matter of time. Gunter, oh, got caught with the jaw breaker. And there's a European uppercut. Sammy seen again, firing back, hearing his matchup. Sammy, blue thunderbomb. Could that be enough? What an upset this would be, but Gunter stays alive. And the ring general collapsing to the floor. He wants a breather, but Sammy lines him up. Here comes Sammy Zayn. Tope Sumasino takes out Gunter. Can Sami Zayn capitalise? No, there's a knee right to the gut. Oh, Zayn sent into the barricade. And Sami Zayn is the one who gets sent back into the ring at the hands of Gunter. And now look at this. Gunter measuring his man. Went for the shotgun drop kick. Nobody home. Zayn now has a chance to get back into this matchup. 
with me in the corner. And now Zay, just putting the boots to the ring general, but there's one from Gunter to the face, and oh my god, Lariat almost decapitating Sami Zay. And now Gunter looking for the power bomb. Zayn again, caught it with that drawbreaker. DDT, no, Gunter counters. Back and forth between these two men, and again Zayn rolling to the outside. But Gunter in hot pursuit, not giving Zayn a chance to recover. Zayn gets sent back into the ring once more. Did you hear the impact? And now Gunter mocking Sammy. Zaymo kicked to the midsection. And again, Sammy Zayn trying to dig from underneath. Trying to do whatever he can to take Gunter down. But Gunter shuts down the offense. And again, the mockery continues. Zayn now sent into the corner. And Gunter, what the hell does he have planned here? Oh my God, right to the face of Sammy, look at this. And Zayn spilling to the floor. What a sickening display that was. Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser have yet to interfere in this matchup. No doubt at the orders of the ring general. And now Zayn picked up onto the shoulders. Death Valley Driver. And that could be enough to put things away. Zayn kicks out. And now Gunter getting frustrated. Now Gunter is beginning to realize that Zayn is not going to go down easy. There's another splash right to the midsection. Could this be it? No! The heart of Sami Zayn just will not give in. And look at this. Kaiser lifting Zayn back up to his feet and now Gunter going to send Zayn Back into the squared circle, and Gunter heading up to the top rope, and Zayn made him up there. And that may have been a crucial mistake by Gunter, but Kaiser, Kaiser distracting Sammy. And now Gunter launching Sammy over his shoulders. And off the distraction, Gunter is looking to take advantage. Larian! The Lariat wipes out Sami Zayn. And now it may just be a matter of time. All thanks to Kaiser. The rear naked choke is locked back in. And this may be it. This could be it. Sami Zayn, can he hold on? No, he can't. Sami had to give in. Gunter advances to Starcade. Here is your winner, Gunter! Gunter will be one of the men that compete for the vacant Intercontinental title in two weeks' time at WWE Starcade. Well, still to come your way tonight here on SmackDown, our main event, we'll see a fatal four-way elimination match to determine who will face Seth freaking Rollins for the vacant Universal title at Starcade. Who will advance? We'll find out in our main event tonight. We are back here on Friday Night Smackdown. And here comes the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth Freakin' Rollins. Fresh off his win last week in the fatal four-way elimination match. Rollins will be going to WWE Starcade 
to compete for the vacant Universal Championship. His opponent will be determined in our main event here tonight. Seth Rollins has not become a world champion here in WWE for quite some time. And you hear the WWE Universe singing the theme song of the visionary. Rollins set to address the WWE Universe here tonight on the blue brand in regards to his big matchup at Starcade. In just mere moments, I, along with everyone else, will find out who my opponent will be come Starcade when I compete for the vacant Universal Championship. It has been far too long since I've held a world title, but that changes in two weeks when I walk out of Starcade as Universal Champion. <laughs> we find out Rollins' opponent next here on Friday Night Smackdown. We are back here on Friday Night Smackdown, and it's main event time. Here comes the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus! The following is an elimination match! Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! This is the second time we have seen Sheamus tonight. He accompanied the Brawling Brutes to the ring earlier this evening when the Brutes advanced to Starcade to compete for the vacant SmackDown Tag Team titles. Now Sheamus looks to do the same. Our main event here tonight has quite the lineup of talent. And right now, here comes the Harbinger of Doom, Carrion Cross. Cross looking to make a name for himself here this evening as he looks to advance to Starcade to compete for the vacant Universal Championship. And that is what this is all about. This is about determining who will take on Seth freaking Rollins for the vacant Universal title. This matchup is elimination style, much like it was last week when Seth Rollins defeated his opposition. You can be eliminated by pinfall or submission. No disqualifications or countouts will be in effect. And that, in my opinion, favors this man, Karrion Cross. Will Karrion Cross be the one to advance to Starcade to compete for the vacant Universal Championship? We are going to find out momentarily. Cross is ready to go. Here comes the man that Karrion Cross knows pretty well. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And from Ayr, Scotland, 
Weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre and Karrion Cross had some issues a few months back here in WWE, but now they meet each other once again. Their paths collide here in this fatal four-way elimination matchup. Again, this is a last man standing type of situation. There can be only one victor here this evening. Three other men, they're getting pinned or submitted. And McIntyre, it's safe to say, is fired up. And he is ready for some warfare. Here comes the final competitor here in this matchup. Representing the Judgment Day, it's Damian Priest. And representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Here comes a man that has a ton of potential, is yet to become a world champion here in WWE, but I have no doubt in my mind that he will one day reach the mountaintop. Damian Priest looking to seize the opportunity here tonight in this fatal four-way elimination matchup. Who is going to Starcade to face Seth Freakin' Rollins for the Universal Championship? We are about to find out as our main event here this evening is about to be on the way. Sheamus, Cross, McIntyre, and Priest. Here we go. We are now underway. And Sheamus and McIntyre going right after one another. Oh, what a belly to belly suplex. Early cover by McIntyre to eliminate the Celtic Warrior kick out at one. Oh, and McIntyre following up right away with a Michinoku driver. Meanwhile, Karrion Cross goes after Damian Priest. Priest rolls to the outside. German suplex there by Sheamus. Back elbow to Karrion Cross. And now Sheamus blowing Cross. Big right hand there, and uh-oh. Here we go again, Sheamus and McIntyre. These two used to be very close friends, but as of late, their friendship seems to have deteriorated a little bit. Sheamus just got driven into the corner, as did Damian Priest. And another carrying cross with a knee weight to the skull. Meanwhile, McIntyre has the steel steps. Here's the cover by Cross, and a kick out by Priest. Sheamus just got hung up to dry. And now carrying Cross launches McIntyre. Oh, there's a well-placed knee to the skull there by Sheamus. McIntyre, rushing leg swing. Oh, and a drop kick by Karrion Cross. Every man for themselves in this type of match. And there's the Alabama slam. Do we have our first elimination? No, not by a long shot. Cross powers out at one. And there's a neck breaker now by the Celtic Warrior. Now Sheamus striking away at the harbinger of doom. Step up knee strike in the corner. And now from behind, Sheamus hoists up cross, and there's a backbreaker. Damian Priest trying to go after the Celtic Warrior. Oh, but McIntyre from behind. And Sheamus with a suplex. 
suplex. And now Sheamus and Karrion Cross, the only two men in the ring right now, big clothesline. And Sheamus is fired up here tonight. He may be signaling for the end. Sheamus lining up Karrion Cross. Went for the bro kick. Cross in the counter. And now Cross looking to cinch in the Cross jacket. And he's got it. He's got it locked in. What is Sheamus going to do here? Do we have our first elimination? Or can Sheamus hold on? Sheamus fights out. No eliminations thus far. Let's now cross. Single foot right into the front of me. And Sheamus going to try this again. Looking for the bro kick, but Damian Priest. Oh, catches a back break off. And there's the bro kick. Cover on cross for the first elimination. Cross kicks out. And Sheamus can't believe it. Sheamus thought he had the first elimination here tonight. But Karrion Cross somehow managed to kick out with a power slam. Who's going to be the one to face Seth freaking Rollins at Starcade for the vacant Universal Championship? Smackdown rolls on. We are back here on Friday Night Smackdown. This is our main event of the evening. The winner of this fatal four-way elimination match will advance to Starcade to face Seth freaking Rollins for the vacant Universal Championship. No eliminations thus far. He can be eliminated by pinfall for submission. And right now, Damian Priest is striking away at Drew McIntyre. And now Priest with a steel chair in hand. Oh, right to the leg of McIntyre. And Priest with the cover. McIntyre stays in it. And again, Priest with a steel chair. Meanwhile, on the outside of the ring, carry a cross with a suplex for the Celtic Warrior. Playball by McIntyre. I think the chair may have struck the skull of Priest, but Priest, how the hell did he kick out of that? McIntyre was shook for a second, but now he goes back to work. Priest though disarming McIntyre. And now McIntyre gets sent into the corner. And oh, Priest went shoulder first, there's a knee. Went to the skull. And Priest rolling to the outside. And now Sheamus hit right in the face. Right between the eyes with that steel chair. Here's the cover to eliminate Sheamus. And a kick out at two. What a matchup thus far. Oh, what a shot there by Priest. And there's one from Karrion Cross. Super kick by Priest. Glasgow kiss. McIntyre the cover on Priest. And a kick out. What the hell is going on? All four of these superstars want to face Rollins for the vacant Universal title. And now Sheamus. Sit out choke one. And Sheamus may be closing in on the first elimination of Priest with the reversal. Sheamus counters back. And now Damian Priest hoisted up, shoulder breaker. And now Sheamus backing up into the corner. He's lining up. Damian Priest. Front kick. Playmore, cover on Priest. Priest is eliminated. And McIntyre thought he eliminated Cross. Cross is not eliminated though. The referee was counting the fall of Damian Priest. McIntyre's got no idea, but Cross is still in this matchup. Cross hammer from out of nowhere. And now McIntyre in trouble. Cross jacket. Sitched in on the Scottish Warrior. Sheamus back in the ring. And he's just going to wait it out. No reason to break it up. 
The cross jacket is locked in. What is McIntyre going to do? Can he hold on? Yes, he can. Unbelievable resilience. And Sheamus trying to use the steel chair. Kick to the midsection. And now cross from behind. Back break off. Right to the spine of McIntyre. And now Cross turning his attention to Sheamus. Come on. Off the back body drop. And Sheamus raises the shoulder in time. And oh, Sheamus. Sheamus with a pinning predicament for Karrion Cross. Cross is gone. Has been eliminated. It comes down to these two, McIntyre and Sheamus, Northern Lights Suplex. These two former friends battling it out now for a shot at the vacant Universal Championship. Sheamus trips on McIntyre. And now the Celtic Warrior measuring McIntyre. Measuring his former friend, McIntyre over the right hand. Went for the chop, Sheamus with more shots. And now McIntyre being tied up in the ropes. Sheamus with the beats of the bell run, right to the chest of McIntyre. Oh, and to the side of the head as well. And now McIntyre picked back up to his feet. Sheamus again striking away. McIntyre though, Glasgow kiss. Out of nowhere, went to the chest. Put that finish off Sheamus. McIntyre's done it. McIntyre's going to Starcade. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior. Drew McIntyre will meet Seth freaking Rollins at Starcade for the vacant Universal title. What a victory here tonight for the Scottish Warrior. Good night, everybody.